Hey y'all, Mama Snark here, here live at All Star Movies Resort in Walt Disney World, Florida. And I'm gonna do a Walmart grocery haul, a Walmart grocery delivery order haul with y'all here. I've got everything laid out on the table. So I was going to do Amazon Fresh and do an updated video on that one, but because we needed so many snacks, so I'm traveling with my daughter who is three and her little friend who is four years old and her mom. So because her daughter is a picky eater like Man Cub is, uh, we needed a lot of snacks just because she doesn't know what she's gonna eat in the parks and it's easier just to go ahead and cheaper to just do a grocery order and have all of that thing, all of that stuff on hand that we know that they're gonna eat instead of not. So I'm gonna do a quick little haul of what I've got and I'll insert a video here of how I placed the order on the Walmart app and also the struggles I had <laughs> with the Oster Movies Resort delivery address because it, it gave me issues. So this is where to deliver to All Star Movies. Okay, so the first step you're gonna wanna select is that first arrow I have there. You wanna make sure you're selecting delivery, not shipping, not pick up from store, delivery. So the second issue I ran into with staying at All Star Movies, and you'll run into this staying at some of the other Disney resorts as well, such as Caribbean Beach Resort, is that the address that you found find on Google, which in this case here, it is 1901 West Buena Vista Drive, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, 3280 for the area code. As you can see here on Google, and whenever I input it that address and I would try to, like it would let me add items to my cart, but whenever I went to actually check out, it would give me an error code. And it did not specifically say it's because the address is invalid. It would just give me an error and say we're having technical processing issues and it can't be, it can't go through. So after doing some searching on Google and digging around in the various Disney groups that I belong to, I was able to locate the correct address for delivery, which is this one here up on the screen. And it's Orlando, Florida as the city, not West Buena Vista and not Kissimmee. This also goes the same if you're trying to do an Amazon Prime fresh delivery order. So after I got all of that sorted with the address, it was able to let me complete my order and actually set up a delivery time for it to be delivered to the resort for me. We were set to arrive that day, I think around like four or 5 p.m., but I always like to set my delivery for at least a few hours before I'm set to arrive to my Disney resort. That way, in case there's any kind of holdups or delays from Walmart's end, I'm not gonna be delayed too much once I get there to be able to pick up my groceries. Bell Services will hold your items for you for the day and they will refrigerate the cold items and put any kind of freezer items in the freezer for you as well. So as I, you can see here, um, they actually had, this is the first time I was seeing this, a group of time slots available only for Walmart Plus members. And that's the first time I've ran across that, but usually the time slots for delivery, sometimes you'll find some cheaper times, it's a less busy time for around seven or $8, but more than likely for the most part, they're gonna be around $10 time slots for delivery windows. So once you pick that time, it actually does give you the option to become a Walmart Plus member. You can try it free for 30 days and then just cancel that membership and not have to pay a fee. I'm the type of person that I'm gonna forget to do that and end up getting charged, so I just would rather pay that $10 delivery fee personally, or you can go ahead and sign up if you think that's something that you would actually use more often or use it at your house. Personally, at home, I just do the grocery pickup option because there's a Walmart right next to my kid's preschool. So the next step when checking out on the Walmart app after you click yes or no for the Walmart Plus is it's going to give you an option for delivery instructions. If you're staying at a Walt Disney World Resort Hotel, this step is a little bit important. This is when you're gonna wanna put guest at and then whatever hotel you're staying at and leave with Bell Services. This lets the Walmart delivery driver know that they're gonna be living it, leaving it at the front of your resort with Bell Services and not delivering it to an actual person meeting them in the lobby. And one of the last steps on completing your order is going to be the option to leave your delivery driver a tip. Please, please leave your de delivery driver a tip, guys. 
the people that are delivering your order do not work for Walmart. It's usually a third party that's been contracted out, such as like DoorDash or something like that. So this is how basically they make their money. So please be courteous and make sure that you're leaving a tip. After selecting your tip or no tip, it'll bring you to the last window, which lets you know that the delivery driver tip will be charged separately from your Walmart order, as well as you will have 24 hours after your order gets delivered to alter that tip amount. So say your delivery driver was horrible and just slings your groceries at your door, you can lessen the tip amount. Or if your delivery driver is really excellent and handles your groceries with care and gets it there in a timely manner, you can choose to give them more of a tip. Now this last step is actually one of my favorite things about using Walmart for grocery delivery is that you have, and it's the same thing with pickup at home as well, but you have up until around five hours of when your groceries will be delivered to add items to your cart. So for instance, my last day, I decided that I wanted some slippers for the hotel and I added that morning up before my groceries were delivered. And then this trip, we forgot to add one of the grocery items that my friend's little girl likes to eat for breakfast, which is powdered donuts and my kid loves them too. So I was able to just go in and add that item to my order here and it showed up with the rest of my groceries. and back to the haul. So first things first, as always, I got a 24 count bottle of drinking water. If I'm staying for longer, I do that 48 count. Some cookies, beef jerky. I got three little veggie pouches for my daughter because I like for her to have at least one veggie pouch a day. I got these for my daughter. It's a shelf stable yogurt because the in-room cooler or in-room mini fridge is a beverage cooler and the sticker is actually ripped off on this one but it only cools to 41 degrees even if you have that dial turned all the way cold so do not trust dairy or meat in there personally some people say it's fine other people say theirs has spoiled so this powdered donuts Pop-Tarts, I got three Red Bulls for myself because I'm gonna need a midday pick-me-up. Some granola bars, some princess gummies, fruit snacks. I got a blanket for my friend that I'm traveling with. She's super tiny and gets cold at night, so she's gonna need a little extra something. I ordered a pink one, they didn't have it, so they substituted it with this blue, which is actually my favorite color. So I'm not mad about it, that makes my eyes happier. <laughs> some Cheez-Its. Horizon shelf stable milk for my daughter. Again, I wouldn't trust dairy in that beverage cooler. Apple juice, goldfish colors, big bag of veggie straws. And I did bring Ziploc bags in my suitcase to be able to put like these little snacks in. And then some cookies. And actually, I'm not seeing, I also ordered some, I also ordered some Uncrustables, pepperonis and cheese sticks. So I'm gonna have to go back down to Bell Services and pick that up. <laughs> okay, missing items acquired, Uncrustables, two pounds of strawberries, which was the same price as one pound at Amazon. Blueberries, bunch of pepperonis, cheese sticks, and cucumbers. And a mama drink from the pool. <laughs> That's it for my little grocery haul. Like I said, pricing everything out even with doing the $10 delivery fee for Walmart Plus, still turns out cheaper than doing Amazon Fresh if you're doing a larger order. If I'm doing just like a case of bottled water and a couple of snacks, Amazon Fresh is the way to go because it's free delivery with uh, an Amazon Prime membership. But because we did like such a large order, this was way cheaper. So thank you guys for watching. Hope this was helpful and informative. Definitely makes things a little bit cheaper um, for eating in the parks with little ones, especially if they're picky, than trying to find like french fries and chicken nuggets all the time. So thank you guys for watching. Give this video a like, thumbs up, hit that notification bell, follow along. Bye guys.